I'm your girl, Chelsea Rendon, and I'm here with my girl, Eliza Monet Morales. Hey, and we are ready and here to play Spill the Cheese Me. All right, Chelsea, let's tell them how it works. We got some questions. Some of them more mild, some of them more spicy. The spicier the question, the spicier the pepper, just like us. Exactly. So if we don't want to spill the cheese, man, we got to take a bite of the peppers. Mm-hmm. I'm really nervous because I don't like cheese. Just make me promise, no matter what, we're going to be friends at the end of this. Now you're making it seem like you're about to tell some shit about me, and now I'm nervous. <laughs> Ooh, what was your first impression of me when I interviewed you at South By for Viva? This is fun. I feel like a little bit of a bad friend. I don't remember. <gasps> I'm Even sorry. worse. I'm sorry. Chelsea. I know. But like, you know how many interviews we did? Wow. Like, wow. I feel like times. you should just eat a pepper for being a bad friend. But but I'm being honest. Yeah. Apparently, I'm just not memorable. Fun no. Times. It's okay. It's fine. I'll I'm just sorry. Eat I love it. Y'all ruining my friendship. <laughs> Who do you love more, your mom or your dad? Oh, that's easy. That's so easy. So, Pops, I appreciate you. You'll probably watch this, and I appreciate you for being a sperm donor. But he knows he wasn't really there until later. My mom and my grandma, that's the tougher part, because they both raised me. What's your dream proposal? And am I going to be in the wedding? That's what I want to know. Oh. <laughs> Ugh. I guess I don't have an answer for this, so therefore I have to eat a pepper. Do you want some tahini? Yes, please. Okay. It's or actually, yummy. I'm gonna do this shit like a shot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. Classy chingona style. Hey! All right. All right. All right. Let's go. Oh, tahini really helps. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to take your Latina spice card away. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. I don't have a spice card. Have you ever been kicked out of a bar club? And I want to follow that up with the why. Actually, wait. Yes. I was in Texas, and we were all VIP. We had been drinking. I had some iced tea, did my do. I got to the top. Homeboy heard me speak Spanish. And that was like the beginning of the end, because he called me What? And I was like, excuse me, what did you say? We got into it. The cops in Texas came, literally slammed me, didn't ask me questions. So they put me in cuffs. They looked at my stuff. All of a sudden, they like, looked up where I was from, from California, like my background, whatever. And they were like, oh, we're so sorry for the inconvenience. But like now they're like, oh, if you want, we'll walk back in. I don't wanna go to your club anymore. Places. You said you've never told that story. I've ever, ever actually. And so that's kind of funny, but I didn't wanna lie. So yeah, we spilled the cheese, man. Ooh, if you had to take out one person from our Magic Mike video, who would it be? It's like all our friends. Damn! My head I offer a pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have some more tahini, please? <laughs> chile, chile, chile. I love you, ladies. Oh, she took one for her crew. All right. Why didn't your last relationship work out? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and eat that right now. Yep. We're just gonna put the whole bottle on there. It's fine. Oh, man. I knew that one. That's how much I didn't want to answer the question. <laughs> My mouth is full. Yep. That was a good warm-up, because that I was know. a mild round. Yes. Now we're going to get a little bit spicier, which you know that means the questions are going to get spicier. Have you ever hooked up with or dated a co-star? Oh. Chelsea Lenore! It's not my question. It's fine. I can answer this question. Wait, are you? Psych, I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew, I was like, no, you're not. Oh my god. That's like not cool. Oof. Yeah, okay. Go. You make me look like a little. When was the last time you got wasted? And what happened? I was just in Albuquerque filming an action comedy called The Unexpected, and we had our rap party. I wasn't planning on drinking, but they ended up getting me a bottle of 1942. So then I think I had like three or four like neat 1942s. Then I got a little excited, 
had like two or three shots of Jose Cuervo. We went to the Z Lounge and I had two tequilas on ice, but ended up in my hotel room with like five or six people at like three in the morning getting a noise complaint. And the funny thing is I remember everything once they left. Like once they left, I was like, bye. Don't remember falling asleep. Don't remember brushing my teeth and putting my aligners in, nothing. I actually even went down and warmed up my tacos so oh. that I could eat it. And I didn't remember eating them. So I woke up in the morning and I was like, did somebody eat my tacos? See, that's so, a classic chingona. She yeah. can get drunk and still have tacos. Still have tacos, yes. Ooh. Oh, great. Are there any secrets you're keeping from me? No. There's no... Oh! Yes. There is. It doesn't just involve me, so... All right, I see you. Y'all are trying to ruin our friendship. Who is one person you would never work with again and why? <laughs> See, she knows the answer. <laughs> Here, I'll give you the tea. There's two people that I would never work with again, but I'm not saying <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> Do I have to eat it, cuz video, cuz video? Swallow, <laughs> just swallow it. And mira, mira, lechita, lechita, lechita. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Oh, milk's growing too. Tell <laughs> you guys, I don't do spicy. <laughs> she was hot. <laughs> she said it was not hot. <laughs> what is your most embarrassing interview moment? So this was a few years back. It was for the Grammys, and I was invited by Fergie and oh my god, I can't believe I'm sure. And the Black Eyed Peas, and um, there was this mansion party that they had. So I get out of the car and I walk in and everyone's there. I go outside, I didn't realize when I walked outside that it literally was a pool shaped in like a music clef and it was right when you open. So guess who fell straight into the pool? And everyone's like kind of turning around. Luckily like the music was on. I casually just go, I go to the other side and I find their housekeeper. She was like, oh my God, mijita, si, que paso? Y me caí en la piscina. She's like, okay, so she takes me into the bathroom gives me a towel, she throws my clothes into the washer and dryer. I'm in there trying to like fix my makeup, trying to fix what I can. They come and they dry it. I come back in, I throw my hair up in a ponytail. Now I'm looking all crazy. They're gonna make like the big announcement that they're supposed to do, that I'm supposed to be covering. Hello? So I walk out and I look around and they're literally making the announcement just as I walk out. And two people are like, didn't we just see you fall in the pool? Like what happened? I'm like, what are you talking about? So I lied until now, and I was like, that wasn't me, what are you, I'm just getting here. Totally played it off, and until now, no one knew, and well, now everybody has the cheese man. that was me, so if you were at this party, you would know in the hills, I was the one that fell in the pool. Yeah, fun times. Mm -hmm. Have you, or would you ever, hook up with a girl? <laughs> mm -hmm. I guess it also depends on the definition of hooked up. Because I've kissed girls, I've made out with girls before. Like hooked up, hooked up. I don't think I would. Above the waist, I'm down. You know what I mean? The downstairs, no. Upstairs, <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, y'all, we are here for the spiciest round yet. We barely survived round two, but we're here. I literally barely. <laughs> What's your hot take on George Lopez these days? <laughs> Yo, I could see it in her eyes. Look at her eyes. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> we're fine. Are you ready to get married? And do you think Garrett's the one? Two-parter, right? Do I think I'm ready to get married today? No, because I also uh, have the idea of wanting to live with the partner before getting married. We haven't lived together yet. And I also think I have some, some, some growing to do still, you know what I mean? I guess it's kind of cheesy, but yes, I do think Garrett's the one. I'm a hopeless romantic. I'm here for it, and I'd give you more reaction, but I'm still but burning. <laughs> Who's the worst person you've interviewed? Ah, you're gonna do it! Oh my god! I have to! I'm 
I'm getting hot for you. I'm dying. Okay. Okay, now I think she's a robot. I don't think she's a real person, because that's crazy. It's just easier when you just take it off. That way you just get it done with. Your last one. I'm going to give it to know, you, because I'm not eating this damn chile, yo. I'm not doing it. Actually, you need to eat the chile. Because literally, we will not leave here as friends if you don't. What's the last secret I told you? I'm just gonna give it. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm not eating that shit. I almost died. Take a bite. I'm sorry. I love you, but I love me more. <laughs> you cannot sell me out like this, Chelsea. Well, okay, hold on. So we oh just God. had a conversation earlier today okay, yeah, where I was true. talking to her that I just found out my niece had social media. And that was something that was like a big thing for me because I'm like her father. Oh my God, girl. Like, I'm so glad you know. Like, she told me it was a secret. And I was like, Wait, hold on, you knew and it was a secret? But I didn't know it was a secret against her. I thought it was a secret to your extended family. So that's that's the answer. I told you I'm not I eating these damn cheese. I still so feel like you should not have shared that. Well, but I'm I sorry, mean. I love me more. <laughs> <laughs> feel my heart beat, dude. I couldn't eat this chile. <laughs> And Chelsea, you were the winners. Hey, you know your girl spills all the cheese, man. Why'd you doubt me? You shouldn't I mean, have. You shouldn't have. It's all right, though, because I ended up getting a milkshake. With I got a milkshake, too, and I ate yep. it. No, I you haven't even drank it. Yes, I, I like did. It's just a heart. It's a milkshake. Whatever. All but right, again, well. I'm the winner. Fine. Thanks I'm for a watching. I'm a competitive-ass person. Man.